Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. I'm gonna show you how to get this no makeup makeup look. Feathery eyebrows, freckles, how to draw them on, nude lip, basically how to look like you're not wearing makeup even though you are. I posted this look on Instagram and you guys were feeling it. So I was like, you know what? Let me do a no makeup makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get crack a lagging. I mean, my body is way darker than my face. I'm always wearing a high SPF on my face and not on my body. My face just doesn't really tan, so it's whiter. Is what it is. So I'm gonna use a Tarte BB Tinted Primer. I thought it was a tinted moisturizer. Quite a bit darker than my actual face because I want my face to match my body. Shouldn't be too much to ask for. And I like the way this feels. It feels very silky. It doesn't pull the skin, it glides across. I can see how this would be a really beautiful primer. And this is the color Tan Deep. So I'm actually not going to put any concealer on or anything. I'm just going to leave my skin. So I'm going to use my Micro Brow Pencil by NYX. This is the color Espresso. And you want to make sure there's not any buildup of the primer in there because then it won't stick. Little stroke, same direction that my hair grows. And this is just a light rough draft because I'm going to bold it out with a darker color afterwards little strokes. I'm giving myself a tail because I don't really have at the end of my brows really. My brows kind of grow down on the top here and I'm just doing strokes all the way through kind of like a feathered brow. It's okay if it's not showing up like super bold because like I said we're bolding it out after. We just want to have a bit of a backdrop and it's okay to look like it's kind of growing in too so keeping that part in mind. Same thing on this side doing little strokes in the same direction that my hair grows. A little bit of hair I have. You want it to almost have the effect of hair. And I'm going to go ahead and start on some freckles. So there's some areas where I kind of have like a bit of a freckle or something like that. And I'm going to really work with those today. I've been trying to cover up this. Whenever I get a blemish, it stays for like ever. So I'm going to make that into a freckle. Hey, hey. When thinking about drawing your freckles, think of where the sun hits. So usually here in the center of your face, along here, you can do a little on your chin. People who have freckles naturally get more freckles when the sun comes out. So I'm going to put my freckles where the sun will hit. And I'm going to make this a little bit thicker in the nose area. And this is kind of like, again, a rough draft for the darker color we'll be putting on. We just want to have a nice under layer of freckles because not all freckles are the same color. And I'm going to carry it out so you have a couple right here. I'm just wiggling the pencil. Sometimes you need to give your pencil a little bit of a wipe to make sure that it's not picking up the primer. I have a little bit of natural freckles around my eyes. I don't even know if you can see here. I'm going to do some on my chin as well. I even have a freckle on my lip there. And I'm gonna do a few on my forehead as well. So now that we kind of have our base freckles on, I'm gonna bronze in very specific areas. And this is just to make our freckles look more realistic before I put on the darker freckles. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze, lightly darken right in the center of my nose here. I'm also gonna bronze right at the top of my forehead here. So I want to add a little bit of blush. This is peaceful. It's kind of like a peachy color. Pull that right up to my temples and on the kind of outer parts of my cheeks just for a little bit of rosiness. And I'm doing this before I do the bold freckles just so it doesn't get muddy because as you can see it kind of takes away some of the freckles but I want it to look like the freckles are beneath the skin for the lighter ones anyways. Now we're going to bold everything out. I'm going to use my dip down fluid line. Very very skinny brush. This is the 202 brush by Smith Cosmetics and I'm gonna make sure I have on very little on my brush. So I'm gonna roll it on my hand like this so I know I'm just getting a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit because I don't want it to be too dark. Do very, very, very small strokes to make our brows have a little bit more definition. And so it blends in with my actual hair a little bit better. My hair is black. Just very small hair-like strokes. When using like a very small amount of product like this, it tends to dry faster, so be prepared to dip lots. And I don't mind going a little bit below to make it look like I don't really pluck my brow. Sorry, I already did a couple because my camera just went off, but basically now I'm going to do same product, same brush, and I'm going to bold out freckles on my face. So I'm going to take a very small amount, making sure there's not too much so you don't make a big mess, and I'm going to go over top of where we want the most. I'm going to start drawing my freckles on. It makes it look more real because we've already done that under layer of freckles. And they don't have to be all the same size. They don't have to be in a structured pattern. Don't worry. Just be free with it. And you can always go back and bold it out. Same thing going along cheek area. Same technique that we did a second ago. 
but keeping in mind where the sun would hit and that's where I'm putting freckles first. Same thing going on all my forehead. You can darken some of your own freckles if you have them. If you find it's a little too dark, you can always just blot it with your finger. Now I'm going to put a light coat of mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Very light coat on the bottom, even though I like to chunk it up. It's not that kind of day. I'm going to take these half lashes, they're called Extra Umfai Velour Lashes, and they're small, so I'm just going to put them right on the edge of my eye for a little extra, well, a little extra oomph. And this is going to change my eye shape a little bit and make it like more cat eye, but it'll give me, it's so hard not to keep saying the name of the lash while trying to describe how these are. Just look at them, that's what they look like. Same thing on the other side. I love my mascara. Ooh, something else. Oh, shit. Bit of length on the end. They're kind of more or less the same length as my lashes towards the center. And they don't even really look like I'm wearing lashes. I'm going to take my Lolita 2 liquid lipstick by Kat Von D. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a natural kind of rosiness to my lips. While that's still dry, I'm just going to cheat and put a little concealer in the center of my lips. If I wait it too long, it's dry. Oh no, it's fine. Alrighty, so that completes the look. And there you have a natural, freckly, no makeup, makeup look. Simple steps, but drawing on dots. Oops, I went a little thicker on this side, but that's okay. I couldn't see, I was looking in the camera and it looked like they weren't showing up, so I was like, freckles on my no makeup makeup look let me see you guys draw on your freckles on and if you have freckles naturally embrace them you know you can do the tinted moisturizer and you can do this really fresh natural look and add a little bit of blush in those areas freckles are stunning and we don't always have to cover them up and if you have little blemishes and stuff you can just turn them into freckles why not thank you very much for watching don't forget to share subscribe and follow and love yourself and stay pretty and i'll see you guys again in the next tutorial bye